really appeals to mainly the average consumer. Yeah. Sure. So the average consumer doesn't find a need to go out and buy a whole new console just for the support of HD. I mean, also the, it also demands other two competitors. I mean, 360 and PS3 have a battle out between themselves. True, but, very true. <laughs> but there's no other thing to get the Wii off the top and into the bottom or into someplace else. I mean, if the Wii came out of HD and they have, like, really nice titles to go on for launch, like you get Zelda, Mario... Metroid. It, yeah, that, that would be But you would have a successful well, then, launch and the sales would go up. What the problem is with Nintendo today is that they're using so many third party titles that they're losing their hardcore base. Very of true. Game. Well, you're seeing these th- <laughs> You're seeing these things for pole dancers on me. I mean <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, oh, that is, that other... is actually the, that's the entire reason I left the Wii community is just because they just didn't have as many hardcore games as I wanted, and that's why I switched over to 360, and I don't plan on ever going back. You go, girl. <laughs> um, one other thing though, um, if they did make a Wii two, if you have looked at like if you've looked at of like their sales over the last like couple years with the Wii. It was up for like the first year, two years, and then it kind of started like balancing itself out. And then like the last two years, it started dropping actually in sales. Um, apparently to like the PS3, it went up and then kind of held. And then they made the new PS3, so it went up again. And then now it's starting to hold, and it's just smidgely starting to drop. Same with the Xbox, it went up, and then it then they made the new one, it went up, and then it went up, and then it went up. <laughs> and now they have the new one out, so it's it's still it's still up. But then the Wii has actually just went down. So if they made a Wii two, they'd probably be getting back up with an Xbox and PS three range, which is going to make them look a little bit better again. Because uh, right now they're kind of looking like they don't have uh, any good game that console out. So if you're looking at the ratings and stuff like that, if you're going by ratings and stuff like that, you're really not going to have um, any help or like stuff like that. I mean, like, going what Nick said, I mean, it, it also depends on the type of style of gamer you are. I mean, I remember watching the E3 conference just right after the Wii came out. And they said the Wii more appeals to a less or casual base. Now, if you go back to the years of GameCube, the GameCube had horrible sales. I mean, there was no good games. But there's really no good games for it. I mean, you were, you were stuck with the modern day conclusion now which we're coming to, which is the PS2 versus Xbox One. Today, it's PS3 versus Xbox 360. But what is with Nintendo that once they start going up a console, they release a good launch day, good sales, they start to lose it. They get the, all these third parties, but they don't release any new games for about two to three years. And that, and I think that's why the sales are dropping and coming to a halt. And well, PS3 and 360 it. sales are going up. Well, you've also got to remember, though, Nintendo is a smaller company compared to Sony and Microsoft. So, Nintendo by itself is trying to get third party in so they can get more items and like stuff like that for the Wii. But they're making like third party Wiimotes now, and they don't they don't look like any Nintendo stuff that you would want. I mean, I looked at some of them, and they just do not look good at all. And then, but now if they make the new Wii um, two. Um, hopefully they won't go with a lot of third-party stuff, and hopefully the Wii 2 will have just Nintendo products working on it, and not, like, every other product, because I know, like, I know Nintendo has, like, actually sold part of their company out to Microsoft now, because, because Microsoft wants to, um, start adding, uh, like, the more sensors, like, into their games, and stuff yeah. like that, so... I mean, I don't know what the best idea would be to go See, for the See, now that brings up a new point. If Microsoft and Nintendo are teaming up... <laughs> Sony is screwed. <laughs> Sony is definitely screwed. Yeah. So you got the motions of the Wii, plus all the additions to the Natal product that, you know, hopefully... I don't really ever seen that catching on. Because the 360 is more of a media powerhouse, and it is a gaming 
system. Court, they have good games and an awesome online service. That's fine. But really, if you look at the sales of the Wii and PS3 and Xbox, like they, they, most of them all have good um, sale, good launches, except for the PS3 had a little bit of launch. But Nintendo and Microsoft had good um, launches, and they had um, slowed down with third-party games over the years. Like, at least in Microsoft's case, but Nintendo's is racking out new games every week, mostly. Yeah, Nintendo is making games, like, they're mass-producing new games, like, every week. Uh, I mean, if you look online, almost every week Nintendo's got pretty much a new game out for the Wii. Not the best games, but they do make new games. And then, you need to start, you need to start um, using your Twitter account. I just realized that. I just remembered that. <laughs> um, I think I was going to say something, but I don't remember. Um, the thing is, if you guys have noticed this, the games that truly sell on the Wii are the games made by Nintendo, not their developers. Yeah. And there are some, I have to admit, obviously there are some very crappy games from the third-party developers, but... There are some really good titles from third parties that just don't get pushed as well as we, um, as Nintendo-based uh, titles. Because if you looked on the top 10 selling games of 09, I remember I mentioned this in episode 2.0 or around there. Um, number 2 through number 5 on the list of t the top 10 selling games of 09 were all made by Nintendo, which was Wii Sports Resort, Wii Fit, Mario Kart, and Wii Play. All those you've are all, made by Nintendo. You've also got to remember, though, when, when the Nintendo first came out, they had some pretty good games and stuff like that. But then they also, um, when they made the Wii, they tried to go all by themselves with making these Wii modes that are going to actually make you work and stuff like that. And people thought, oh, that's cool, let's go buy a Wii. Well, after they realized there was not that many good games for it, Nintendo ended up getting half of them brought back to stores and stuff like that, get trading in. I mean, trading in like game stuff. Stuff. Because I remember walking in the game crazy, and I remember you could get a used Wii perfectly brand new. It looked very, very new. Not a sting on it, I looked at it, too. And um, they were selling for one nineteen. Uh, same price as a regular Wii, 130 bucks for a Wii, and like 15 games. That's what the guy was asking for. Yeah, but you also gotta remember, they tried going with like a Wii Fit balance board now, when you gotta do balancing games, exercise games, but then you also got fun games like skiing, Sean White snowboarding, you got different games that you can use on it, but the sensors in the very first balance board that they made really sucked, if you think about it. <laughs> Appeared to the new um, Wii Fit Plus, which actually has a whole new Wii board I ended up finding out. Supposedly that one's got more sensors in it, because this one only had four. It was one in the front of each foot and one in the back of each foot. This one new one now is supposed to have eight. It's got four on each foot when it paired to two on each foot. So hopefully this is going to be better for, like, different, like, I know on the original Wii Fit game, they had, like, skiing and snowboarding when you got the rock back and forth for your arm. And sometimes it would rock back and forth, but then you would get ready to go forward, and it would still be turning. So hopefully this one's going to have a lot better uh, sensors and stuff like that. So going back to the Wii, I mean, if the Wii had HD, like if they put an HDMI port on that, you know, if you saw, like, a Zelda title at launch, a Mario title at launch, a Metroid title at launch, some Nintendo games... And possibly Rock Band 3 or any other Rock Band that's been revamped for the HD graphics. The Wii have a, have a good launch, the new Wii. But if you look at the Rock Band games, or I shouldn't say Rock Band, Guitar Hero games on Wii, they lag. The, the yeah. strum and the TV lag about, about 5 to 10 seconds behind. But with HD, there's no lag. You could fix that with just a simple plug. I mean, you sure, you could go out, use your renowned HD, but in 7.8p, 